And we're live. Welcome to the December Common Stack Review. We are switching it up now. We used to do sprint reviews every two weeks. Now we're doing this one is kind of December, our December review, maybe with a little bit of a end of year flavor. And uh, and we're starting it off right because actually just a few hours ago, maybe not even two, actually, <laughs> maybe less than two hours ago, we uh, we actually launched our uh, our 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 uh, commons request so we're ready to take on commons it's super cool uh really awesome medium post major praise to ivy for putting this together uh we were defining commons to the community and making it easy for people to understand what we're doing is the commons are coming so uh check out this very simple blog post that kind of explains what a commons is how how we've done so far and how you can actually get into launching your own commons using collaborative economics the augmented bonding curve conviction voting and all the cool tools that we that we've been developing alongside of course praise token log uh and we use snapshot and all the fun stuff so uh definitely come check it out it's a great blog post and retweet our tweet um if you're checking this out so yeah and and really the you know the success of the token engineering commons is what we are building upon and of course i'll, I'll talk about that one in a little bit but uh i think i can just pass it straight to tam to talk about um to talk about the Commons design pattern cool thanks griff and um you know, we can't announce it on this call, but we are having conversations with a really exciting community and we expect to be able to announce a partnership next year that's um, that's around these common design patterns that we are we're wanting to work with other communities to deploy. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about that. So we've done a lot of work this year really putting together how like the deployment protocols. Usama has done an amazing amount of writing. Uh, we're still sort of drafting and reiterating through it, but we've started to put together some visuals to help explain things um, outside of like text rich, um, you know, uh, documents. So our, our deployment phase is pretty straightforward. Uh, we have four um, phases, engage, incubate, hatch, and launch. And in each of these phases, we have uh, four modules that a community would go through sort of like check the box on each of these modules and make sure that these this the groundwork is laid in order to sort of move on to the next phase. We also have started doing a lot of work thinking about um, what our approach is, like what is unique about Common Stack and what we do and we've sort of, uh, oh, am I sharing? Oh, Griff, you're sharing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop and share my screen now. Thanks. Um, so, you know, what is our approach, right? We, we have this methodology that we call collaborative economics, which is very intentionally ground up, participatory, makes sure that every person in the community not only gets to vote on options, but only also gets to put the options on the board to be voted on. Um, and every person in the community has voice on every step of the way. And we use this methodology to deploy these frameworks that uh, adhere to the principles of Eleanor Ostrom and really weave the fabrics of governing commons into any community that's using these cultural frameworks, uh, curated tool list of tools, this library of tools that we have. And then of course, this sort of research that we do in um, novel new crypto economic primitives and or in cultural frameworks and even in the methodology of collaborative economics itself. And then the, the experience that we have of actually having applied that research as a feedback loop in order for us to improve the research that we do. You know, uh, I have this these documents around how we reward contributions, labor, capital, and expertise, which is really fundamental. And there's so many words, and Usama and I were like, how can we just show this in an image? So uh, we had gone through many different iterations about how we can show the rewarding of contributions, and we had a bunch of feedback from everyone on the team. And finally, we came up with something, and um, Amelia put a really nice design touch on this, so it looks beautiful as well as is informative for how um, we uh, are able to, when we're deploying a commons, 
uh, acknowledge the present labor of the people who are building that commons, who are showing up every day and doing the work, any past labor that has been done in that community for that community or for the mission, and then expertise. You know, we stand on the shoulder of giants. So those that have the shoulders that we're standing on should have some skin in the game for this mission. And uh, I'm not going to go into too many details other than uh, a lot of the work that we've done this year is around making our information a lot more understandable for, for folks. So uh, earlier this year, we had the Commons Prize. Um, I think there was something like 36 nominations. And the winner of the prize was, of course, the Grassroots Economics. Uh, over the, uh, the, the summer months and the fall, we did a lot of discovery with Will and his team. And some other folk who really enjoyed, uh, curious to, to help participate in that endeavor. And we've had conversations around their needs. And, you know, Grassroots Economics Commons has a very complex economic system. It's a, a commons in each of these uh, community inclusion currency villages are their own commons, their own economic commons. And there is clearly a need for governance around the economic commons. And it's not exactly a great fit for our design pattern today because it's a non-digital community, very unfamiliar with Web3. And so we're still having talks with them to see how we can help in the future. Maybe if we can extend our deployment protocols to be able to uh, to use collaborative economics in a non-digital way for a local on the ground community. But um, in the meantime, we are, we're having those conversations that sort of slow down. And um, while they continue, we're all excited to work with other communities who are ready to use the sort of, you know, the, the commons design patterns that we used to deploy token engineering commons and that we want to help other communities launch with. And I'm gonna pass back to Griff to give some highlights from the TEC. Oh man, always so hard to find that unmute button. Yeah, the TC, of course, is our first commons and it launched earlier this year. Huge success, I would say, especially given the uh, the actual state of the market. I mean, when if you bought a thousand dollars worth of token engineering commons tokens in the hatch and a thousand dollars worth of ether, your thousand dollars of token engineering commons would be worth about 900 today and your ether would be worth about 330. So TEC was a good investment for the hatchers so far. Of course, it's an early stage, but that's amazing. That's that's I would say that's just ridiculous considering that this is a economy focused on public goods uh, and we're making it work even in the bear market. So it's a it's a really cool project, of course. Uh, if you've never heard of the Token Engineering Commons, honestly, I don't believe that you're actually watching this. That's a miracle. Uh, but our goal, the goal of the TEC is to actually uh, give a better foundation for the token engineering field. This is a new field of, of science that is just starting up. And there's so much, uh, it's so important that we protect the public financial infrastructure that's being built in Web3, the same way that we protect the public infrastructure that's being built in cities and nation states around the world. Uh, so this is our mission. It's to build up the token engineering community, make it more sustainable. And we've been doing that. Uh, we've actually funded so many projects just to name a few uh, CAD CAD community over three hundred thousand dollars worth of projects were funded by this economy uh, with no expectations of a return. The CAD CAD community token engineering fundamentals a, a uh, an amazing uh, course to actually learn token engineering free course for anyone involved. Uh, we we supported the proposal inverter. We we made a huge donations to uh, NumFocus, which is a, a Python library that a lot of token engineers will use. Uh, we supported the T Consilience Library. We kicked up the our our uh, ABC Advanced page. So actually, this is probably worth showing. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, we've made it so that you can uh, see that you're interacting with the bonding curve when you actually buy the TEC tokens. It used to just be simply this, like a Uniswap swap. And now uh, just a few days ago, actually, we we kicked it up. So, I mean, I have to connect my wallet, but uh, you can see how much you're, what exactly is happening when you interact with the bonding curve. So this is super cool. And it's something that uh, we're likely to use for all future commons as well. So more public infrastructure funded by the TEC. 
And there are many other projects as well, Gravity Dow, to name a few. So uh, yeah, and, and we actually ended the year off with a kind of a TEC review as well. Uh, Tam was there, I was there, and, and we talked about uh, all the fun moments in the token engineering commons this year. Uh, between pram parties and funny anecdotes it was a really great call and everyone who went ended up with uh uh our this po app because not only was it the end of your review it was actually the 100th community call of the tc so that was really fun uh yeah and and i would say that's probably enough on the tc we'll keep this uh party rolling and send it over to christopher to talk about praise praise has definitely had a big year yeah, uh, one might say that Chris has had, had a huge year. Let me find my share screen button here. Uh, is the screen coming across? Yeah. <laughs> it should. Yeah. So, so the the the, the, the big thing that happened uh, for Praise this year was that we launched. Uh, in the beginning of this year, Praise was still a in-house tool that pushed data into a Google spreadsheet. And, and now it has turned in, in we have built it into a, a working app that may, can be used by, by many, many communities. So in, in addition to the, the, the new bot that works much better than the old one, we have a fancy dashboard that allows you to view stuff like user profiles where you can get an insight into what actually Griff has been doing for the community. You can read up on, on the stats, read these are the top contributions for any, any user, of course. Um, and uh, to the right, you see the, the quantification interface, a little bit detail of that, how you can score the, the, the praise uh, coming in in a much easier way. And scoring the praise is super important to determine the, the impact it have had, uh, had on the community. So that was really one of the co core focuses on trying to improve the, the quantification uh, experience. Um, analytics, have we, we have added tons of analytics. So both uh, in, built into the Praise dashboard and uh, as a standalone tool where, where token engineers and, and the community in general can, can do deep dives into the, to the data and find out uh, really what, what goes on in the community. And we believe that this kind of collective sense making that you do by, by doing analytics leads to improve collective agency, leads to the community better actually finding a direction and, and making more good in the world. If um, We have published, a, if, if all this seems daunting, like the Praise is, is, is a fairly small product in itself or a small system to deploy technically, but the processes around using Praise is, a, is a, I shouldn't say more complex, but it's a, it's a number of steps that you should sort of do be, be, to really uh, inoculate the community with uh, <laughs> the Praise culture. You need to get into the habit of praising. So you need to have sort of a working group that, you know, stimulates the community and reminds everyone of uh, praising and about quantification and so on. So we have uh, pushed all this information, all the knowledge of, of uh, deploying praise into a number of communities into a, a deployment guide uh, that we have shared. And we can share share the link. It's in uh, link in the in the notes to this uh, video. Um, but it's um, uh, so go and have a look. And of course, we are happy to to help anyone, uh, any community that would like to and, and that needs help with this. We can do it for them, uh, together with them. Uh, one huge thing, of course, is that uh, communities are using Praise. Uh, in the beginning of the year, it was it was the TEC and uh, and to some extent the Common Stack, and now we have the Deep Work Studios. We uh, have General Magic. Uh, we have Giveit. We have Gnosis, and and we have others on the way in. Um, so basically, currently we're a little bit hold, holding back. Um, to, but a number of communities would like to start using Praise, and we're super happy about that. Um, we're working on new features, big new, fan, big new features. So, so we're working on AI integration with a, a AI Ask Me Anything bot. This rich data set generated by Praise is perfectly suited to uh, automatically generate like deep insights into the the what the community does, like automated. Both, uh, uh, contributor bios, or, or maybe we'll be looking at doing automated uh, organizational charts. We are looking at doing one-click deployment so that any community can just get set up in five minutes, the technical part of the deployment. We will create a, a built-in reputation token minter that will allow communities super easy to, to mint the reputation token that they then can use for token gating or um, 
give access to governance uh, functionality within the DAO and so on. And we will rework the, the whole layer of reports, token distributions, and analytics to make it configurable and flexible, allowing you to do any kind of, of reporting and analysis within the Praise system, and also to integrate with any external system. So if you would like to use the Praise data to mint a POAP, use Praise data to mint an NFT token, you will be able to configure or program that in, in a fairly easy way. Um, up next, just quickly, um, self-hosted Praise is where we're at. Still, we're working on, on Praise as a service, this one-click in, install. We would like to liberate, uh, praise, liberate Praise data over time, so bring it, taking Praise da data out of the service and, and bring it into to some sort of decentralized data network, most likely Ceramic or Arweave or, or IPFS, where data, Praise data can be accessed by anyone. Uh, and that is a requirement to make Praise into more of a network. Um, and finally, when we have praise, sort of a praise network, an ecosystem around services, uh, services around praise can start to form. And we hope to, to eventually be able to build a, a sort of an, a self-sustaining praise economy about all the, all the communities using praise will somehow support the continued development of praise. Uh, so will there be a praise now? Definitely there will be a praise community at least to support the system, but uh, this is a bit further into the future. I think that's um, it for me. Who should I pass to? I forgot to check. I think it's me. And let me see. I can grab, share my screen. Yeah, that, that, wow, that was an incredible presentation. I hope we, uh, we should definitely like cut that out and make that its own thing. That was, uh, this is uh, really nice, Christopher. And uh, yeah, and and so I guess we keep going about the comments. Like, now I'm so excited about Praise. Praise is really becoming, it's spinning out into its own organization. And it's, uh, it's so cool about how we, in general, in this kind of ecosystem, in our little subsector of this ecosystem, we scale horizontally. And when a project has enough momentum behind it, it gets to become its own uh, its own magical thing. So a uh, huge year for praise, and I'm excited to see what the next year comes. And uh, on our side, uh, the common stack was traveling the globe. We we're all over the world. Uh, there were so many events, uh, whether it's the Taoist in Mexico City, where we got to present collaborative economics, or East Barth Barcelona, where we, uh, where I mean, we made so many presentations at side conferences and in the main conference about the solar punk future that we want to build together. We have this really awesome playlist with uh, with. 17 different talks that we gave that just this year talks and panels at various conferences mostly in north and south america and europe uh, but hopefully next year we'll even expand more into asia i want to see ivy giving talks out there when is that happening uh, i'm bullish on that next year so yeah but if you want to check out all a, a lot of the talks that we gave definitely check out this awesome playlist uh, that we have put together it's uh it's there's so much good information out there and uh and that's not all you know beyond just talks we were on a lot of podcasts maybe i can throw it over to you Osama, to talk about the various podcasts that we were on thanks griff uh let me share my screen yeah uh so you know th other than conferences like our team also appeared in different podcasts so starting from the first gnosis uh, dowcast so uh, in the dowcast uh, hosted by gnosis chain so our team member uh, christopher uh, presented a fantastic presentation on praise you know impressive topics covered included how we can use praise to build a culture of gratitude and make you know visible the unseen work uh, done by the contributors so going even deeper uh, you will you will see uh, how you can deploy a praise in your own community. So yeah, uh, that that was a great presentation. So it, it also include the praise analysis and praise distribution. So that was a great podcast. Uh, the next one, uh, the DAO talks. So our very own Griff uh, was featured on the episode of DAO talks by uh, Tim Delhes. So uh, Griff explained his mission uh, to fund public goods, how donors can become impact investor, investors, uh, how we can create an abundance of public goods uh, without relying on taxes and uh, donations. So he also talked about the significance of uh, culture in DAOs. So yeah, that, that was a great podcast. Uh, I will add the link in the description. So uh, the, other than that, we have uh, uh, Tamara 
joining uh, the Martin on the owner economy to talk about uh, the human side of building ecosystem, the resurgence of commons, and how it acts as an antidote to state dysfunction. And and also uh, she talked about the guiding principles behind the uh, commons design patterns. So yeah, make sure you, you guys listen to this podcast. And the last one, the coordination mechanism with Griff Green. Uh, that was a really great podcast. So in that podcast, Griff Green and uh, Kevin share over 20 different mechanisms for doing better uh, collective intelligence. Uh, the conversation covered around uh, how collective intelligence can help us do uh, better collect uh, collective resource allocation and also uh, they uh, talked about the tools uh, they talked about the tools they talked about the frameworks that can help achieve the goal of that collective resource allocation so yeah uh, that's uh, it from my side i will pass it to uh, emilia thank you sam so on my side and let me share my screen so i've been from uh, here yeah oh good Do you see the screen and so i've been doing really hard work on under fully understanding common stack as a brand and of course everything started with by understanding our target audience and wait so so understanding who are we who do we want to reach then understanding our value proposition, who are we, what do we have to offer? And for doing this, I ask a lot of questions, which of course led us to a wave of transformation, which, are going, which we are going through. And finally, we are in this final stage after all this conceptual work. Now we are getting into the end of this road and into the graphic analysis and our visual analysis. So everything started with understanding what we were, where, wait, oof, everything so slow. Um, where's our landscape? Who are we working with? What's the ecosystem about? Everything is about coordination. And so what do we have to offer? And later we end up now is in the time of the visual identity. So I'm super excited or where we are going through decisions are being taken. But for now, well, we leave some mystery. So stay tuned because we have great and sexy things to share in the next uh, review. So that's it for my side. And I think I'll pass it to, I don't know, whose side should I? Ivy, it's your time. Thanks, Emilia. Uh, let me share my screen. Um, okay, can you see my screen? Hello? Not yet. Yeah, I don't okay. see it. Oh, how about now? Uh, yeah. Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> Okay, so it's been an exciting year for the uh, Give It Galaxy, and uh, let me share with you some of the highlights from our ecosystem this year. So um, let's start with uh, Trusted Seed, uh, which has always been a fundament fundamental to Common Stack's uh, mission. So uh, just a little history, um, Trusted Seed has init uh, was initially created in uh, 2019 as part of our uh, cultural build. Uh, to support early stage um, region economies uh, culturally and financially and to provide a uh, legal mutual aid to those who um, participate in our um, in our commons. But um, this year, uh, Trusted Seed has evolved into an independent or organization uh, that has its own uh, distinct identity. So part of the process is the uh, migration of CSTAP to Trust, um, which we announced uh, earlier this year. Uh, they also launched their uh, super pool uh, dashboard and uh, held to trusted picnics uh, in uh, it Barcelona and uh, it Paris and uh, it uh, Bogota. Um, the biggest event is their um, month-long uh, unconference. So um, uh, during the unconference, um, DAO stewards um, uh, gathered and uh, engaged in peer-to-peer -peer, uh, learning uh, sessions and open discussions on uh, important web three issues. So um, you can find all the uh, recordings, uh, recorded sessions in their uh, YouTube channel. 
and the unconference closing day is happening on uh, on December 20th. So uh, please join if you can. And moving on to uh, Give It. Uh, Give It just keeps on giving. Uh, almost exactly a year, year ago, they launched uh, the Give Economy and started uh, rewarding donors with their uh, give backs um, program. You can read about it in this uh, in this article. And then just this week, Give It launched uh, Give Power. Uh, it's a new public goods uh, uh, Lego um, that allows give holders to boost uh, impact projects while earning rewards. So a uh, common stack has a verified project on Give It. So if you have Give uh, Give Power, please please uh, boost our uh, boost our project. And then moving on uh, to General Magic. Uh, General Magic also had a great year. Uh, their team of uh, experienced designers and developers helped the token uh, engineering team to launch uh, the T Academy. And um, so it's a top-notch uh, course platform that offers a smooth uh, and intuitive, le uh, intuitive learning experience. And um, right after launching the T Academy, um, they also launched um, the ENS uh, merch store. So you can see it here. Sorry, it's loading. Um, so make sure to, uh, you can uh, you check it out. So I'll drop the link in the description. And then in other news, um, community currencies now uh, returns with a brand new series on our YouTube channel also this year. So aside from uh, so Anton from uh, Community uh, Currencies Alliance interviewed um, uh, interviewed uh, pioneers of the community currency currency space about all their uh, amazing projects. So we can find all the uh, the interviews also on our YouTube channel. And I also dropped the link in the description below. And that's all for me. I think I pass it back to you, Greg. Yeah, as is our tradition. You know, we always get all the credit for all this work, but we didn't do half of it, honestly. Like, it's like such a community effort. We're so lucky to be part of this larger ecosystem of, of rock stars that care about building a better world for for public goods in a way that a way that public people who provide public goods to society can be rewarded fairly and we get so much support and uh so we like to finish every every uh every call like this with a round of praise so and and I can always start so uh yeah, I, I want to praise all the various conference organizers. You know, I, I helped organize a conference in 2018, and it's a lot of work. Oh my gosh! And the Fab, uh, like all the people behind the Dallas, uh, all the Refi Con Unconference, Metafest, ETH Barcelona, uh, ETH CC DevCon, ETH Denver, Transformative Impact Summit, and and the various other conferences that we were that we attended. There, all of you guys are heroes, and so thank you so much. For for giving us a platform where we can spread spread the updates to the larger community. I also want to praise the leaders of the TEC. This is like Wonka, Eduardo, Chewy, Gideon, Bear, Antti, Shevna, Mitch, YGG, and all the other crew that have been bringing uh, the TEC forward in a really cool decentralized way and uh, tr you know transforming it into what it is today. Uh, you guys are heroes. Uh, I also want to praise Max and AC and Maria for stewarding the trusted seed uh, the, and, and really taking that on this year as, as we spin out into uh, separate focuses. Uh, I also want to praise Will Ruddick for uh, um, being so, such, so great to work with, with Grassroots Economics. Uh, it was really fun and, and we're still building together exactly how it's going to look in the future and uh but we're so lucky to get to spend so much time with you will and i also want to praise lauren amin cherik tossin muhammad sam gabby jesus mitch and all the other uh giveth contributors who make give power possible uh i'm excited to get boosted see the common stack boosted right now we're number three on on, on give it so that's super cool and we appreciate all that support uh, yeah, and there's so many people to obviously praise, but I'll cut it short right there, and I'll throw it over to Tam to uh, do do more praising. I'm going to do a bunch of duplicates of that one, but I'm going to go anyway because I think that uh, it's it's probably worth saying a few times. So I want to pra praise Livia because you're on vacation, and I just miss you so much, so I can't wait to see you again. And uh, from the TEC, you know, I want to praise this um, – new cohort of leaders in the TEC, the coordination team, especially Gideon, Bear, NT, Rex, and Nate. Um, I also like to um, praise a lot of our um, 
a lot of the TEC's contributors who have been around and sticking around are people that are new at Iram, Costa, Innovator, Bianca, and of course the 2022 cohort of stewards, Chewy, Eduardo, Griff, Wonka, Libya, Mitch, Nate, Shebnam, YGG, Zeth, Lauren, Vivi, and Gideon. And then from the Token Engineering Academy, it's such an important relationship with the TEC and it wouldn't be possible without Angela, Angie Berry, and Pat. Um, I'd like to praise Octopus because you just, I think you're just such a rock star. It's really, I'm so impressed every time I'm able to see you work. I'd also like to impress Jeff, Jess, and Zargum because um, you guys are uh, such an important part of Common Stack and so important to Common Stack. And Trusted Seed and Trusted Seed Board, Uni, Max, Mayfer, Letty, Jeff. Uh, Christopher, I'd like to praise Christopher. That was such an excellent presentation. I know we're not supposed to praise people in this call, so I'm breaking all the rules. Also, Nuggin and Marco for like your entrepreneurial leadership and really quarterbacking, finding uh, um, a way to move praise as, uh, from a, uh, you know, from a, a, a tangle of spreadsheets to a product and eventually to its own company. I'd also like to praise Will from Grassroots Economics, most importantly, because you inspire me so much. You know, you have a vision and you're able to execute that mission and it's, you know, it's an impossible mission almost. And yet you're still able to, through I think sheer will and determining to manifest, able to manifest these community inclusion currency villages. Um, I'd like to praise Rachel because your documentation for the praise deployment protocols is just absolutely spectacular and for project managing praise deployments into a couple of those communities that Christopher shared earlier. I'd like to praise Amelia, the self-appointed Web3 Bruja. Uh, you do make magic and your articulation of design and strategies really helped me so much uh, understand Common Stack better this year. Uh, and I'll pass to Ivy. Thanks, Sam. Um, okay, I'm ready with my praise. <laughs> I want to praise Max, Unisi, and Maria for all the, the amazing things that they do to keep pushing the uh, mission of Proceed forward. I want to praise Jeff, Kenzie, Chris, Letty, Max, Tam, Coach, B, and Raphael for the wisdom and guidance that they've prov provided to Proceed this year. I want to praise Christopher for building the, uh, the awesome Proceed dashboard. I want to praise Lauren, Anna, Maria, Ahmed, and Marco for sharing some highlights from Give It in General Magic. I want to praise Zeptimus, Rex, Bear, and T for all of our collaboration in the Transparency Working Group in TEC this year. I miss you all, guys. I want to praise T for his uh, great Twitter support. And I want to praise Anton for hosting the uh, new episodes of Community Currencies now. Uh, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I pass it to uh, Emilia. Thank you, Ivy. Well, I need to be super honest. I've only been interacting with people inside of the Common Stack team, and I'm, so I can't praise people outside. Maybe I can give a like a general praise into all the Impact DAOs landscape because it's been so inspiring understanding all these projects and how we are changing the world. But especially, so also breaking the rules, I would like to, to praise the people inside of the team because I feel so proud about working here. I'm so excited on what we're doing. Um, so yes, that's just like a general praise. I know it's breaking the rules, but I knew so maybe I can break it for this time. So that's it. I'll pass it to Sama. Yeah, thanks, Emilia. Uh, yeah, I want to praise Stefan for his contribution in Twitter uh, in our comments campaign. I want to praise Yini, Ivy, uh, and Max for how much they are putting in Trusted on conference and making it very successful. I want to praise uh, Daryl and John and for uh, for being so comfortable to work with and sharing their insightful thoughts and work for the future comments. And I want to praise uh, Livia for all the work in the cultural build and uh, all the work she has been put into the GE as well. So yeah, I'll pass to Rachel. Uh, thanks, Osama. Um, I would like to praise Kojak and Grael for accepting the invitation to be quantifiers for Common Stack. I would also like to praise Yine for taking the time to assist me with some issues I had with my Discord a couple of days ago. I would like to praise uh, Yine again and Kojak and everyone involved um, for initiating the praise party and making efforts to make sure many people get to learn about praise. Um, over to you, Christopher. 
Thank you. Uh, and I'd like to direct my, my praise into two general dry directions. And the first is towards the general magic people that, you know, the magic people over at General Magic that, that, that took us in sort of when we wanted to spin out uh, praise as a, as a standalone uh, project or, or an eventual company. Uh, so the praise goes to, to Marco and Ahmad for, for doing uh, tons of business development. Uh, Praise to, to Anna Maria and, and Steph for, for working on, on our praise communication and then the, the messaging around the, the, the project. Praise to, to Moshi Hub for, for uh, taking our DevOps work to the next level. Um, praise to Septi for doing community outreach, getting proposals out there so we can bring in new new projects. Uh, praise to Heather for, for supporting with the um, uh, pushing the recruit see uh, the co-founder recruitment forward. And, and then the, the next the big praise stream would be to all the, the, the people responsible for hosting the, the new praise deployments in the various communities. So, so praise to Bonjui and John over at Gnosis for taking us in there. Uh, praise to, to Franco at Giveth uh, for setting up praise. Uh, praise to Rachel, Marie, and Genesi uh, hosting uh, praise for Common Stack. Praise to Mitch, Nagan, and Levy for hosting uh, praise over at the TC. Uh, praise Andre Berlin uh, over Deep Work for setting praise up there, and finally praise Moshi Hub again for for setting up praise for General Magic. Uh, and I'll pass it back to Griff. Thank you, and praise to you for watching our entire uh, sprint review for our not sprint review month review December review with a little bit of end of year flavor. Uh, it was really a great year for the Common Stack, and I know twenty twenty three is going to be even more incredible. So thank you, and we'll see you guys on at the end of the year or next year. Bye, everyone. <laughs>